Fantastic day to everyone. Dr. Fantastic here inviting you to be fantastic. That was on uh, granite. This is on a seashell. The words be fantastic or fantastic. It's on a piece of bread, Bilotti bread. This is an electronic sign someone gave me. Uh, that's one of my ambassadors to be fantastic. On a t-shirt, um, the words be fantastic invite you to be kind to yourself, others. Here's another t-shirt inviting you to be fantastic. And another uh, shirt. I believe this is another shirt. Yeah. And uh, that was the original logo without the B-E. Uh, on cement, I, um, be fantastic wherever I can. On In bricks on my garden, it says be fantastic. Please be fantastic. Have a fantastic day. Say have a fantastic day. It's an act of kindness. This is my latest be fantastic. Those are um, wood on wood. Uh, there's an, uh, this is a flyer that has Be Fantastic logo on it. I've made many, 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 many flyers with Be Fantastic, inviting people to spread the Be Fantastic philosophy by pollinating positivity and cultivating civility. There's my face mask when I had to wear a face mask with my Be Fantastic pins. I've given out 6,000 of those. This is the new logo. Be kind to yourself, all others, and the planet. And here's my coffee mug saying with the original logo without the words B-E. I have a cup of coffee as I have a very important message that can change your life. If you're one of my 5,091 ambassadors of kindness already, please forward this to one friend. And uh, you've heard the message many times. I'm going to talk about the three commitments to kindness, which quite literally will change your life. Science, logic, and over 5,000... Ambassadors of Kindness have proven that the three commitments to kindness will change your life, quite literally, because it, it makes you smile to say the word fantastic, which releases endorphins, dopamine, and serotonin in your brain, which release stress. And you have less, if you have less stress, you're going to live longer. Science says when you smile, you live five minutes longer, and when you laugh, an hour longer. So laugh often and smile every day. And say, have a fantastic day to friends. It's an act of kindness to say it. So the three commitments to kindness, and I'm going to jump around here a little bit, because um, if you're one of my ambassadors, you've heard it a million times, uh, and it ne never hurts to be reminded about the three commitments. But if you're new to this, please join our, our ambassadors in 95 countries. Spreading kindness, because the world is an evil, evil place it has been since man started. For some reason, we're, we love violence, we love wars, we, lo we love uh, slowing down to see a car accident. Uh, the world is in a dire, dire uh, bad situation, dire straits, I think it's called. Um, we have global, a global climate crisis. I'm here in Charm, COP27 is around the corner, and I hope to talk to some very important people um, about uh, my solution, which is is the solution, because we as individuals cause the problem, we as individuals can can solve the problem. But uh, so let me get to the three commitments to kindness, because I know you're busy, you got your life, and thank you for taking the time to watch this. The first and most important commitment in your life is to be kind to yourself, to love yourself, to accept you as you are, to only think positive, to get rid of negative thinking and negative people in your life because they're cancerous to your health. Know that every decision you make every day, because you're going to turn left today and you're going to turn, or you're going to turn right, is the correct decision. When you believe that your decisions are correct, you get confidence in your decision making. And with that confidence, you're going to get happiness and success in life. Believe in yourself. If you don't love yourself, how can you expect someone else to? A great analogy I use is when you're on an airplane and the, um, the, the, the flight attendant says, if the oxygen mask drops, put it on first, then help others. You can't expect to help anyone if you're not healthy, happy, or alive. So you come first in life. And then your children and your, and your friends, you can help them all out uh, by sharing the kindness. Okay, how's that sound? Um, the second most, all my, uh, by the way, my, over my, seven, my 1,700 uh, videos on this channel are all pretty much live. Uh, unscripted, unedited, and um, it is life. Here's a, a trash truck backing up to the trash. So excuse the noise, but this is how I do it. I do it one take. I'm a one take wonder. Uh, so the second most important commitment is life, because we live with seven billion people, who, by the way, are w less than 100 years old. 
Everyone on the planet is less than 100, save maybe a dozen people. Uh, and we screwed the planet up. So we need to be kind to all others, including God's creatures. So be kind. Open doors for people. Say please and thank you. Say kind words. And you're welcome. How many people don't say thank you and you're welcome? It's just, it's horrible. Do one kind thing for yourself every day and two kind things for others every day. Um, like, I like to say, um, donate your time. Help others. Give advice to others. Guide others. Love others. Be kind to everyone and the animals. Don't eat endangered species. I go on for about a half hour on what I call a fire speech. Fantastic inspirational rejuvenation experience. I'm giving you the short one. This is driving me crazy. That you're supposed to stop beeping when they back up. Okay. Halas. So that's the second most important. Be kind to all others, including God's creatures. Don't eat endangered species, you know. Uh, don't kick animals. I see uh, little kids kicking animals. Oh, no, you pet animals. In the, uh, anyway, so the third most important commitment in life is to be kind to our planet. And that's why I'm excited about COP27 coming here, because we have the solution. We, we, we're using, as individuals, too much electricity, too much water. Um, we're polluting and, and littering. 4.7 trillion cigarette butts get thrown on the ground each year. Many cause forest fires. Many can get washed into the ocean and kill the fish. 4.7 trillion, one at a time. Take accountability for your action. Find some place to put that damn cigarette butt. Plastic bottles. There's an island or multiple islands of plastic floating in our ocean. That's going to last 10,000 years. It's disgusting. And they were thrown down one at a time. Humans are, are so stupid. I'm sorry to say it. But we need to be accountable for our actions, for our children and for our grandchildren. And that's the solution to COP27, to global climate crisis. Use less water, use less electricity, take public transportation, walk, ride a bike, buy less crap, make an outfit instead of going and buying one, make art, you know, take the environment and change it into art, and that's what I'm doing right now. Anyway, those are the three commitments to kindness. You will live longer, you will look better, you'll feel better, you'll be more successful in business and in personal relationships, and you'll help make the world a better place. You can't let anything bother you in life. The trash truck, dumping the trash, may bother you, but it shouldn't. It's just part of life. Life happens. Accept it as it is. Enjoy it. When I'm in Cairo, and I stay at a hostel across uh, from Tyrone Square, and they honk the horns consistently throughout the day and night. And I, I look at it as music. I don't let it upset me. Don't let the weather upset you. Don't let other people upset you. Don't let your financing upset you. Don't let anything upset you, because that's stress, and it's all your fault. You're letting these things upset you. Do not let these things. I'm a life coach, a philosopher, a motivational speaker. Uh, I've got lots of videos on, on this channel, uh, and some of them are silly. Some aren't just me and cooking, because I love to share my, my fantastic recipes with you. I'm a fantastic chef. Now, I guess I'm a fantastic artist. Um, people are digging my art. This one I'm, uh, I'll sell today. Uh, or maybe not, you know, and I won't be upset either way. I really like the, this read uh, stuff I'm doing. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's um, it's uh, it's great therapy to do art because I'm retired. I'm, I'm not working, so I'm doing art, which is fun. And uh, I was my just so you know, my past. My stepfather was a famous abstract expressionist. Was because he died when I was nine, as long as my mother did in that year, but. Um, so uh, uh, I used to create art as a child. Because we were forced to because we couldn't afford the Christmas cards and the, and the uh, Valentine cards that all the kids got to give away at school. But don't let anything upset you. Have a fantastic life. Please subscribe to the channel. Like it. If you, if you like what I said, hit like. But share it. We need to share kindness with the world. And we need to be happy. It's about happiness, peace, love, prosperity, and don't let money get you down. Um, I can go on forever, but I want to keep this short. Have a happy Halloween. Hope you like my costume. Uh, reuse, recycle. Please be kind to the planet. That's the third most important. Most important is be kind to yourself. 
treat you, do something kind for yourself every single day, do something kind for another every single day, and try to be kind to the planet. Thanks for watching. Be fantastic. And the website's, uh, I'll put a couple pictures of my art just so you can enjoy it, hopefully. And uh, the links, of course, are BeFantasticToday.com, uh, Dr. Fantastic's World, where my projects, my Monument for Humanity, my documentary, the movie, the, um, the cooking show, all these projects are designed to promote the uh, Be Fantastic philosophy. Hope you can get involved, participate, volunteer, donate, invest, um, and just have some fun with it. Have a fantastic day and a fantastic weekend and a fantastic life. Thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed my little speech and my co and a coffee. Okay, if you've stuck around this long, let me describe some of my art. This is my first watercolor, and it's abstract, so people will see in each of these uh, watercolors what they want to see. And uh, they, some see birds. Um, uh, this obviously looks like an eye. This, uh, a lot of people see a dragon in this one. But they're abstract, so that you see what you like to see, uh, as you like. I, hope, I like this one a lot. I don't know what you're going to see in it. And this one here um, was a watercolor with a little spray paint background. Uh, then I started painting on wood, which I call eco art. This is one of my favorite pieces. This is shells and an old piece of wood painted and decorated uh, to uh, give it get a new life. You know, this is a reed on wood. Um, I like reed a lot. It's, it's amazing what they can do in Egypt with um, with the natural to the materials. Uh, this is just a collage I did with my Be Fantastic uh, thing. I just recreated this. It's called the Window to Humanity. All the things that humans should. This is a skull, a couple shells, and a watercolor on wood. And that's my art. These videos are designed to educate, inspire, motivate, and entertain you. We hope you will enjoy them. Join the Be Fantastic philosophy. Please subscribe, like, and share.